Hey, welcome to Outsmart Your Guitar. Glad you could join us. Today is a Jeff talk, and I'm going to talk about a subject that you probably haven't heard discussed a lot, and that is finger exercisers for guitar players. All right, so let's just get right to it and be sure to like and subscribe to Outsmart Your Guitar along the way. Back in the late 1980s, an advertisement began to appear in some of the top guitar magazines. Guitar World, Guitar for the Practicing Musician, even Guitar Player. And this advertisement was for a finger exercise device. Well, I'd never seen anything like it before, and because, well, quite frankly, there never had been anything like it before. So I began to look into and investigate this little device, and I found out some very interesting information. So that's the first exercise that we're going to look at. On screen, you see a modern current production version of the original guitar finger exercise device. I did some digging trying to find an original advertisement for this device when it came out around 1988. Uh, and the, I found out the company was Gripmaster, if memory serves, uh, who are still in business producing this device. Now, it is now sold in a more broader context by Gripmaster as just a finger exercise machine for building finger strength. It's not specifically targeted to guitar players, but they still do mention that guitar players can benefit from the use of this device. It was very curious to see this, and as I mentioned, I went and started to do some research, and this was the pre-internet days, so I had to really scour to find information. And I eventually came upon an article by a doctor who was also a guitar player who bought this device and started to put it through its paces to see if it is, as it is advertised, a good exercise machine for guitar players to help improve finger strength and dexterity and even improve your guitar playing skills. So he put it through its paces and he found, well, it does build strength in the muscles here in the forearm. There's no question about that because in doing this alone, you are working these muscles. But as it relates to guitar playing, he said it's not really of practical benefit. He said that the time that you would be spending playing with this device, which is designed to be used when you're away from your guitar, he you said you're better off just waiting and coming back home and playing your guitar for the 15 or 20 minutes that you would be using this device. It would improve your finger strength and your dexterity playing the guitar, not using this device. And you would also, at the same time, be working on improving your playing skills in general. So, the bottom line is that this device is of no value to you as a guitar player and therefore, functionally, a scam to be offered as a device to help you to become a better guitar player overall. Now, this device showed up a number of years ago. It's a very curious little device. Uh, again, for use when you're away from your guitar, so you pack this up in your satchel or whatever, and you take it with you, and basically you just fret chords. It actually has strings, and it's got action, so you can play your chords and practice them uh, after a fashion. Uh, to help you build callus a little bit and to just get good at uh, moving between chords. So in 
one respect, yeah, okay, it sort of kind of works in that regard. Uh, but in practical terms, since you won't be focusing so much as you will be working on, on automatic because your attention will be half divided in something else, this doesn't have as great a benefit as it's advertised to have. And I can understand how this could have some benefit since it does have strings and technically frets, you know, on a fretboard and that you would play it and you would be depressing strings, you would think, okay, this is actually very beneficial. But in other ways, not so much because one aspect of playing the guitar is coordination, synchronization of left and right hand. So your left hand gets a workout while your right hand is what, driving? Uh, doing whatever, um, and if that's the case, then you're divided in your attention, and this really isn't benefiting you a whole lot. Now, while I won't say this is a flat out and out scam, it is a limited practical uh, usefulness because, in part, you're not synchronizing your hands doing the things that need to be done. So you won't really get the benefit that you will get actually sitting down with the guitar once again, playing the guitar and doing the work and getting your hands coordinated, fretting and picking, uh, even finger picking, that you would get, you won't get that benefit from this device. You will always get more results actually playing the guitar. So while I can't call this a flat out scam, I can say, don't waste your money, just play your guitar. Just wanna drop in here for a second and remind you down in the description is a link to patreon.com outsmart your guitar. Go on over there and become a free member. You will have access to a number of lessons that you will get for free, whole lessons, not just truncated lessons and you will have access to the written material as well. Then, when you join as a full patron at one of three levels, you will gain access to a whole host of lessons, many expanded versions of lessons that are featured here, in addition to also having access to lessons that are not featured here. All lessons contain written material where applicable. All right? So, Go on over to Outsmart Your Guitar at Patreon.com, investigate it, and become a patron. You'll be glad you did. Now, let's get back to it. This device steps up the game of the previous device a little bit by including a place where you can actually strum, or at least practice your strumming, while you're practicing your fretting of chords. This device, again, has actual strings and action so that you can be pressing strings, supposedly helping develop a little bit of callus. But again, the problem here is coordinating and synchronizing left and right hand. While you can practice your strumming while playing different chord shapes, that's very limited in practical use. Uh, and playing scales, here is of very little and limited application as well, just as with the previous device, though I didn't mention about scale practice on the previous device, both that and this allow you to practice individual positions of each scale, but because you can't move between them, it's of limited practical uh, value there as well. Again, this device is designed for you to use when you're nowhere near your guitar. So you carry this around with you and practice, I'll use that term loosely, uh, when you're not at home with your instrument. So again, while I can't call this a scam, I can say it has uh, no real practical value in helping you improve and move forward in your guitar playing. You'll see the theme here that's developing throughout this is that these devices have limited to no actual value helping you 
do the things they claim that they are there to help you do, especially when you're away from your guitar. Better to spend time actually playing the guitar. I want to move on now to devices I call torture devices because they do have some medieval kind of allusions to them. This first uh, device you see is a ring, uh, a series of rings that you put over your fingers to spread them out, right? And then you play the fretboard of your guitar and it's supposed to, de to be designed to help you stretch your fingers sideways. Well. Again, you can see the problem here is that it's a fixed width. So it may work low down on the fretboard where the frets are wide apart, but we are not limited to just playing within the first five or six frets of the guitar. We want to move higher up the fretboard as well. So this, I can quite legitimately say, is just a load of malarkey, a scam, don't even. Again, you're better off sitting down and playing exercises that help you stretch your fingers this way, skipping frets to get comfortable doing that. A device like this freezes your fingers and that's very much anathema to what you need your fingers free to be able to do, which is move and flex and adjust based on where on the fretboard you are playing. So avoid this device like the plague. The second torture device here to my left, your right, seeks to overcome the issue of fixed distance in your fretting fingers by putting rubber bands there. Um, okay, I'll say nice try, but again, why do you need it if you're going to let the fingers flex with the rubber bands that become actually themselves a little bit of an impediment, creating resistance, which you don't need and shouldn't have when you're seeking to stretch your fingers sideways so that you can play uh, skipping frets, etc., etc. So nice try with the device, but again, counterproductive because it's counterintuitive in the worst possible way, avoid this device as well. Our third torture device, well, I don't even know where to begin here. That uh, thing on the left, I guess you put your fingers in there and do this kind of thing. I, it's just for exercising your fingers. You can't actually play the guitar when you have that device on your fingers. Uh, and then the one on the right, you've got these, what are those, rings on your fingers and then these bands going to the wrist and it's like, uh, uh, you know, you, you, it's just like these are, again, the worst possible things that you can do to yourself as a guitar player. And it is absolutely clear, not just these devices, but virtually every device that I have covered in this expose were developed by people who have no concept of how the human body works. They're not physiologists, they're not doctors, they know nothing. They're just doing things because they look like really cool ideas. And yet they're of no practical value whatsoever to help you in your guitar playing pursuits to get better. Just play the guitar, please. Just play your guitar. Don't buy this thing, please don't. And, and any friends who are looking at stuff like this, be that guy who tells them no and take their credit cards away. Seriously. One more torture device, this thing. I, I don't even know where to begin. If you look at the image, you'll see that, uh, let's see, yeah, we got the thing here 
over the top of the hand, you'll see on the front of it, you've got uh, ruler markings. I think it's in millimeters and centimeters. And then over that, you see a little screw that it's attached to the loop that you can move it and adjust them to various distances apart. Again, this works against what your fingers actually need to do, which is flex based on what they're being asked to play right now. So please, if you are thinking of this, don't just play your guitar. And if you know somebody who's thinking of buying one of these devices, please grab every musician you know, go over to their house and hold an intervention tie them down, duct tape them down to a chair, and talk to them until they are convinced things like this have no value and no place in the life of any guitar player anywhere, ever, yesterday, today, and forever. Please do that, and you will be a hero. There are multiple scams out there aimed at you as a guitar player and other musicians as well. I also play the piano, so I've seen advertisements for things that are purported to Im help improve my skills as a piano player. And I look at them and I go, no, not really, because what they're doing is taking me away from the piano and having me put my fingers on the countertop and do these various exercises, which have no actual practical value. I'd rather sit down and play through Hannon for the piano because that has shown true benefit in my ability and dexterity to uh, helping me improve as a piano player. So with the guitar, there are exercises that absolutely help you become a better guitar player because they help improve your dexterity and facility, to name just two things. Uh, technique, chord playing, scales, and uh, soloing abilities, these are all things that you only improve by actually sitting down and playing the guitar because that's the only way those things improve, not through devices that take you away from the guitar. So be warned, if something is being offered to you that gives you a device or machine or whatever, that takes you away from the guitar, it's a scam. It does not work. In all probability, it is just somebody looking to make a quick buck off of you. We've all been taken in by scams at one time or another, but we learn our lesson, hopefully early on, and avoid being scammed and taken for a ride in the future, right? Okay, thank you again for spending the time here, listening to me go on about this stuff. I really do appreciate the time you spend because I know your time is valuable. Okay, so you take care and I will see you in the next video.